Well, hello. God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I'm excited about speaking to you today. I'm excited about being back here in the office, and I've been preparing to minister the word of the Lord tonight. Oh, my. I'm back. We are ready for Bible study. Ready for... Bible study. You got it. Bible study. We're going to walk in the word of the Lord together. We just come out of our 34th pastoral anniversary. Man, where did the time go? I've been here 34 years and all I can say, my, my takeaway, my takeaway, if I had to, had to sum it all up in one sentence or one line or, or to, to speak to it as succinctly as possible, all I can say is that God is faithful. And, uh, and I praise God for his faithfulness. And not only is God faithful, but God gave me the finest people in the world to shepherd of of uh, of whom I am so I, I'm honored for the opportunity to be the pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And I want to thank God for the membership, how you certainly stand by me and my family Sunday in and Sunday out, week in, week out. Thursday night in, Thursday night out, battles in and battles out. I tell you, you guys are the best and I am so appreciative. Thank you, Elder John Ambanchuku, the leader of the anniversary committee. Thank you, Elder Anthony Wilson, my second assistant who is on the committee. Elder Clarence Rayford, Elder Robert Williams, John Price, District Missionary Margaret Bowles, Sister Karen Farrelly, Sister Margaret Hamilton, Evangelist Patricia Lester, Evangelist Wanda Thomas, Evangelist Yvette Thompson, Evangelist Evangela Williams, Missionary Tanya Liston B. These are some fantastic people. Sister Brenda Bowden, Sister Cheryl Harris, Sister Pam Faison, Sister Virginia King, Sister Libby Marshall, Brother Elton Benjamin, and my man. Brother Gary Leach, they, along with the members of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, those who are present here at the church and those who are online, made it a fantastic day. Thank God for Sister uh, Cheryl Clemens. She's from Pennsylvania. Sister Carrie Boswell. These are some of our new members that we that God has given us who are out of state. Uh, the, 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 the Darden family from New York. Uh, the Henderson family from Green. Greenville, South Carolina, the brother Smith, uh, sister Smith from uh, Sanford, Florida, Mark and Savannah Williams from Davenport, Iowa, uh, Angela Walker from Birmingham, Alabama. Look at the goodness of the Lord. Mother Mary Walker, what a wonderful woman of God she is from Covington, Georgia, and her daughter, sister Cassandra Dahlman. Mother Walker adopted me as one of her sons. So Cassandra is my sister. Uh, therefore, from Kanye. Cassandra is from Conyers, Georgia. Oh, Quentin and uh, Movita Davis from Miami, Florida. What a fantastic couple. And the Robertsons from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Judson and Aaliyah. Oh, thank God for them for, from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. One of our members who now lives in the state of Texas, Sister Shannon Prevo. God bless you, Shannon. And I'm going to talk about that book that, you, that you've written. It is a blessing. Just fantastic people making it, making a day special for this servant of the Lord. You know, at the upper room, we have, uh, at my request and my uh, uh, insistence, a one day pastoral anniversary. We do not do pre anniversary services, just one day. And uh, whatever the saints want to do on that day, they get the opportunity to do it. And when the Sunday morning service is over, then the anniversary is over. And we, uh, we just give God the praise. And I'm so blessed. And also, I want to give a special shout out from some very, very special friends of mine, the Burrell. The Burrells, Dr. Edna Burrell and Pastor Lonnie Burrell, all the way from Los Angeles, California. You heard me right. 
Los Angeles, California. They flew in from Los Angeles. They never been to the state of North Carolina before. They weren't on their way somewhere else and, and dropped in or stopped by, but they flew in to be a part of the anniversary and they made it special. When they got up and had words, I'm going to tell you, the Holy Spirit of God just erupted in the place and it was just a marvelous, marvelous thing. And on Monday, uh, before they took their flight, we, we came to the office and you see some pictures where you see uh, Dr. Burrell, uh, she's sitting there in the captain's seat and, and her husband and, and, and yours truly. And we're all uh, taking some snapshots together, just creating some wonderful memories. They love Jesus Christ. They're on fire for the Lord. And they certainly encouraged me uh, in their acts of kindness, coming, sharing, giving, praying, uh, having words. It was just a marvelous, marvelous time. And uh, I'm, I'm still high off of the anniversary. I praise God. I praise God for the kindness and the, genera the, the generosity of you, God's people. I often say this, People don't have to be nice. People don't have to be kind. People don't have to give you anything. But it takes God to touch the hearts of people and cause them to do the kinds of things that they do. Hey, by the way, when I was mentioning uh, some of the workers, I omitted uh, Evangelist Crystal Avanchuku. Uh, she's the wife of my first assistant, Ella John Amanchuku, but she's my daughter. And most certainly, I want to acknowledge her as being part of the anniversary committee. She's just a, she's just an awesome woman of God, and, and I'm excited. Now listen, before I go, before I go, I want to do something. I want to do something, and I need you to respond. I'm talking to moms and dads out there with little children. Now, I want you to get this book. Look at this. Who is Jesus? It's by author A.D. Vincent and Vincent, and it is a excellent, excellent read for little children. It is a blessing. And you know, with the devil gunning for our children, I mean, have you ever seen anything like this before? He's coming after our children through cartoons and music. Uh, in merchandise, you name it. He doesn't want the children to know who Jesus is. Now, he don't care pretty much whatever, whatever else they know, but he don't want them to know who Jesus is. Well, this book is a wonderful book, wonderfully written, easy to read, and it will be a blessing to you. As with all of these products uh, that I pitch from time to time, I get no kickback. I have not personally met this author, but uh, this book was sent to me and I looked at it and read it. And I said, oh, my God, the body the body of Christ needs this. This book will not uh, uh, not a dime will come back to me. Not a dime will come back to the upper room. That's not what we're doing this for. I think children need to know, however, who Jesus is. And this is a excellent read. And I want you to get it now. I am armed with the word of the Lord for tonight. I'm excited about this opportunity to teach the word of the Lord. And I want you to keep me in prayer uh, this coming Saturday. Yours truly, I'm going to be at the Salt and Light Conference. And I'll be speaking with Pastor J uh, Robert Jeffries and Lieutenant Governor Mark Roberts. Uh, you, do you remember the Million Dollar Man? Ted DiBiase and Madison uh, Cowthorn, uh, a U.S. senator, and uh, the keynote speaker is uh, former governor of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee. They ask yours truly to come and to speak to them on this uh, subject of salt and light. This is the North Carolina Faith and Freedom Coalition, and God has given me a word to share with the North Carolina Faith and Freedom Coalition. And then this Sunday, I'm telling you, I'm loaded, I'm fired up. This Sunday, I'm preaching hard. If it's the Lord's will, if it's the Lord's will, I, I have something to share with you and it's going to set your soul on fire. God's going to bless us tonight in a mighty way. We're going to walk in the scriptures. Uh, Gary, I can hardly, I can hardly wait to get the chance to just uh, deliver the word of the Lord. We're going to teach it 
and God is going to bless. So meet me here tonight, right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. All who can be here in person, all who can be here in the sanctuary, come on out. All who can't, watch us online. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, YouTube crowd. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for uh, how you surround this preacher. Many of you uh, uh, circle the wagon as the naysayers uh, uh, come against the truth of God. Let them. <laughs> Who cares? Human beings, puny humans cannot stand up to God's truth. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to preach the word of the Lord. One of the things the Lord blessed me with is a uh, 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 talk like that doesn't hurt my feelings. It, <laughs> it, as a matter of fact, one half the time, it makes me laugh. Uh, more often than not, I don't even see it. I'm just excited about standing on the word of God. And when you're looking at this preacher, you're looking at a preacher who has nothing to lose. Nothing. Because everything I have belongs to God. I am only what the God of the Bible has made me. So, apart from Jesus, I'm nothing anyway. And so I have nothing to lose but to lay it all on the line for him. <laughs> and I love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. So meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it, Bible study. We are going to study. We are going to walk in the scriptures together. I'll see you tonight.